Oh my god. Oh god. Oh, Jesus Christ. Open it. I, I want to open it alone. Getting into Yale is very important, but I think it's it's so important to him because of how important it is to his mother. JR, open it! I can't open it. I can't Just open, open it. open it. It's not going to fucking kill yeah, anybody. I am. Not I am going to die. Oh, for fuck's sake. The Yale acceptance letter, so you know, he sort of, like, made me feel emotional when I read it. It felt real and heartwarming in subtle ways, like in the editing. Dear Mr. McGuire, uh, it is a great pleasure to inform you that the admissions committee has voted to offer you a place in the Yale class of 1986. What? It is funny because when they did, did do the first take, yeah. it was like, ugh. And then one note and it's really, it's really my favorite scene in the movie. I'm also pleased to notify you that your financial need has been met. If you're tricking me, I'll kill you. Really? There's a charm in it, but also there's a vulnerability. It's sort of the climax in many ways of the film. I got an interview at Yale. Your mother must be thrilled. Right. It is Miss Mother's dreams for him, and hopes for him, since he was eight years old. She's been saying, you've got to get into Yale. For her, the promised land was education. And so that, that was the thing. We are going to get you into a great school. And you know, it's not going to be just a great school. It's going to be the greatest school. I swear to God, I have no idea how you are going to Harvard or Yale. So you can sue your father for child support. No, so he can help you with your fines about the septic tank. He thinks it's ridiculous. His mom makes 30 bucks a day. How is he going to get into Harvard or Yale? You mind if your mama believes in you? No. JR's mother was a bit like my mother. She hasn't been able to go to college. She hasn't made it out in the world. She just wants him to fly in a way that she was not able to. He really sees uh, responsibility to prove something to his mother, to go to Yale. She knows that this is going to be right for him. She believes it with every fiber of her being. There's a lot riding on JR. Like, he's, yeah. the, he's the one. Well, Uncle Charlie could have left the nest. He had the brains to do it, but, you know, he didn't do it. Mom made bad choice in men. I'm going to be a lawyer. Jesus, why? Mom wants me to. Talk a lot of shit and believe anything. So now it's all, they're all putting their energy on to JR. Jeez, Mom. What? It's OK. I don't have lipstick. She's going to keep saying Harvard, Yale, and law school until she can't anymore. But it's like, is he going to get in? So uh, I think it is a big moment, you know, when he opens that, that letter. <sighs> oh, my god. It's a really good editor, Tanya, who's, who's editing uh, this with us. And we did the cut fat, so it was really slow. And then you start uh, trying to edit it to overlap the dialogue even more and more and more. You open it. That's a call right there. She's the one with the most invested. I told her not a dime. You don't have a fucking dime. So you start with absolutely still, everybody just quiet listening. And then it explodes. I can't open it. I can't Just open, open it. Just open it. It's not going to fucking kill yeah, not anybody. Everybody. I am. Not everybody. I am going to die. Oh, all of a sudden, it goes really quickly. You open. No, shut up. I can't open. You don't have a dime. Give me a like, Open. I'm going to die. Uncle Charlie's a gambler. Just let I him. I paid the application fee. He opens it, and then there's the silence of waiting. I don't think she she knows until she knows, and she wants it so badly. First time I played it, like, OK, this is going to be emotional. So I, you know, I, it's a trap that actors can fall into, and I'm certainly subject to that. And, and George said, like, no, 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 like, have more fun with it. Uh, it is a great pleasure to inform you that the admissions committee has voted to offer you a place in the Yale class of 1986. What? And then there's this moment of sort of just release for everybody. It's incredibly moving and surprising. I'm also pleased to notify you that your financial need has been met. If you're tricking me, I'll kill you. Really? You know, my mom is the hero of this book. Lily playing my mom and doing such a beautiful job and bringing her fierceness but also her fragility to the role. The movie has that much more poignance and resonance for me. <laughs> you could hand in uh, any sort of gold standard scene and it would come out like crap unless great actors took it up and somebody like George was directing. 
when we first started to shoot it, all of us, the actors and myself, we were playing it very cool. He was like, okay, I shouldn't open it. And she's like, you should open it. And I watched it back and I was like, I think this is, I think the stakes are much higher. It's why George is so smart because he knows that you can't go right at something. You have to sort of somehow approaching something indirectly uh, makes the audience feel it. Then Lily starts like, I'm gonna die. She took it to 11 immediately and it made it just, it, it made it all make sense, you know, because she, it literally was everything she wanted in life. Lily is such a good actor that she kind of does all the work for you. If you're smart, you you just let go. You just want your children to be okay, and you just want them to feel like they can see a path in the dark. Yeah, this isn't home. Yeah, it is. No. No, it's not. Every time I read that letter, I every time on camera, off camera, I felt from Lily like the same wash of genuine feeling. And George is, is, you know, yes, he's an actor and that's how he started. I don't think people quite recognize how facile a technical filmmaker he is. But he gets, he gets it, you know, and he's, he makes everybody feel comfortable. And I think that's important to the actors, everybody working on this film. It's a simple story, right? It's just, sometimes it's just about execution. Those are the kind of moments that change families' lives and certainly changed the lives of, of all those people in that room.